for Tara and it's midday with Tara. I am so excited to be here. I almost rescheduled today. I have so much going on, but you know what? This is part of um, staying focused, balanced, um, determination and keeping distractions out of your life. You know, I've learned that in my life, now I can only talk about me. I've learned that in my life, I always live fully what I teach, what I preach, what I believe. And this is one of those times. We've been talking about staying focused, having balance um, in the midst of change and creating new cycles and transformation in your life. And this is one of those days, you guys, truly, I, you know, I kind of keep it real and be honest with you. I had so much going on, so many things that could possibly be distractions, even though they are purposeful to keep me from achieving a, a goal, a purpose that I have within, <laughs> you know, my long-term goal. And that's coming on every Wednesday, sharing, trying to help, trying to implement change, trying to inspire, educate, and empower you guys so that you can live your life not just on purpose, but full of purpose. So today we're going to kind of continue. I'm trying not going to, I'm not, I'm going to try not to be on too long, but hey, if you're just tuning in, please like and share. Please like and share for my Instagrammers. This is my first time on, on IG, so kind of work with me. Uh, couldn't get my Periscope up, but it's okay. We'll work on that next week. Not a distraction for me. Not a distraction. So today, I kind of want to talk about um, staying, staying in my, my same vein and focus up and, and, and teaching of focus and balance for this month. I want to talk a little bit about when we're trying to stay balanced and focused about from transfer to transformation. Now, I talked a little bit a while back about, you know, you we're always transferring. We're always in a, a trans, I'm saying transfer, I'm sorry. We're always transitioning. We're always transitioning, but we're not always transforming. We are always in a transition, but we're not always transforming. Let me say that again. We all we are always transitioning. We transition uh, every week, <laughs> every month, every year. We have a birthday. This is transition. Every ten years, we transition from one age group to another age group. So we're always transitioning but we don't always transform, okay? So I want to kind of stay in that vein because I had a post earlier this week and I had someone share with me, and if you don't know, that I had, I'm single on purpose. I'm single on purpose, not because I can't find anybody. I can find plenty of people. I just choose not to be in a relationship right now because I have 115 things going on <laughs> so i'm single on purpose um and and i want to and i i was battling with where to go with this this week but i want to talk about it because i had someone and for you guys that don't know i own a hair salon i've been a licensed cosmetologist for almost 29 years so i had a client come in earlier this week last week and she was sharing about um staying busy and I'm going somewhere with, with this, so hold on. So stay with me for a second. So she assumed, listen to me now. People assume, now I am busy. Don't get me wrong. I am very, very busy. But I don't stay busy not to be lonely. Let me say that again. I don't stay busy because I'm suffering <laughs> with loneliness. That is not why I'm busy. I don't stay busy because I'm single and horny and don't want to be and trying to live right and don't want to be distracted. That's not why I'm busy. I'm busy because I got a purpose and I'm staying focused to finish my purpose. 
And in my purpose, I got a lot of stuff going on. I got books, I got coaching, I got a uh, product company. I got a whole lot of things that I got going on in the midst of it. So I'm busy and I'm in working on my doctoral degree in gender diversity. So I'm busy and everything that I do ties in with who I am and my purpose and my goals in life. So she shared that and it sparked something with me because it's so many people, when we're talking about transition to transformation, people assume that you do things, especially when you're single. I'm a single, I'm single, I'm a female. I'm doing these things so that I can stay busy so I don't be lonely. Baby, <laughs> I loneliness, let me just say this because I'm going to get to the next part. Loneliness is an emotion and it's a state of mind. I was lonely when I was married with my husband and he was never there. I was lonely then. I was lonely because in my perception, I felt like, well, I have a husband, I got a man, I got kids, um, and we should be doing or be or be a certain place in life, emotionally, physically, or uh, psychologically. But I was lonely with someone. You kind of feel what I'm saying? I was lonely with someone. So now. In the midst of him being there and me working and have been a wife and a mother and a business owner, I was lonely then, but that's a state of mind. Want to fast forward a little bit. A lady put a post on one of my groups that I'm in and she said in the group, she got a lot of responses and a lot of good responses. She said this, what can I do to heal from loneliness? And a lot of women I talk to, I coach, I counsel, they deal with loneliness. And she said, what can I do to heal from it? My response was, you can't heal from something that's not a wound. See, loneliness is not a wound. Now, you can be wounded emotionally. You can from rejection, from abandonment, from um, d various different things, but loneliness is not a wound to be healed. Loneliness is a state of mind, a state of being. It's an emotion that you feel. You can be around a bunch of people and still be lonely. It's a state of mind. So I said all that to say this, when we're talking about keeping balance, it's all about our perception on how we view ourselves, what we're going through, what people say. Because I said, the lady said to me earlier, hey, are you staying busy because, so that you, uh, because you're single and you're trying to live right? No. I'm staying busy because I got a lot of stuff going on and I got some goals I'm trying to reach. And in my goals, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm just busy. I'm, it has nothing to do because I'm not lonely. But now let me say this, and I share this, and I'm going to put my prop up on my book. On my book, uh, I share this in this book about transitioning to transforming that isolation is a prerequisite for breaking cycles. So if you haven't got your book, y'all need to get this book now. Breaking Unwanted Cycles is a guide to living a more fulfilled life. So I share that in that book, that isolation. Now, when you be when you are isolated, can you be lonely when you're doing an isolation period? You can be, depending on how your how your what your perception of it is you can be lonely during that period but it's necessary to go from transition to transformation now transformation is only just change and the reason is necessary you guys listen to me because when you're going from transition to transformation and you're trying to change a cycle or change um, a mindset or change your life 
you have to get rid of everything that you knew in the past that kept you in that conundrum of the cycle of the pattern that you are trying to break from okay let me break this on down if you are, if you struggle with drugs and alcohol and you're trying to break free create a new cycle and not drink you can't still go to the club while they're drinking you can't hang around your drunk friends you can't do that you can't call them up and say hey what y'all doing are we partying guess what you're gonna want to do party or get you a drink you, you have to change something so you have to go through a period of isolation so that listen to me you can create a new cycle in that isolation period you are reevaluating every aspect of your life if you don't reevaluate these aspects of your life those people those things those emotions those patterns you will never transform change into the new person the new cycle that you are wishing for it's not gonna happen i share with women all the time that they say well when this is related to relationships they say well you know i want me a boo i want to go on vacation with people with a guy girl whoever you know they want to have them a boo they want to be booed up let me tell you something booed up for one week it's not going to change your situation because nine times out of ten you're doing the same pattern you booed up y'all there together and then when you come back you don't see that joker or that chick anymore because it was just for that time and you keep working that same pattern and you wonder why why i can't get somebody where all the good women where all the good men they're out there but you keep doing the same thing same things getting the same results we call that insanity. You're doing the same things that you're going to get something different. Not going to happen. You need to be isolated so that you can reevaluate every aspect of your life. You roll with three people all the time. Me, myself, and I. So you're never lonely. Let me say that again. You have three people with you all the time. Me, myself sorry you guys and i me myself and i so the problem comes in with this most of you don't understand have not gotten to understand have not gotten acquainted with me myself or i when we talk about focus and balance you have to have the you have to have a balance with those three people in your life those three uh entities of yourself me myself and i you got me over here doing one thing i on this side doing something and your myself doing something totally different and then you wonder why your life is in shambles well if you are not in balance nothing else in your life will be in balance get me myself and i together Get those three people together. You'll never be lonely. You can start the process of evaluating every aspect of life so that you can walk this thing out. Come on, you guys. You got to get silent. You got to get to yourself. The problem is we, we, wanna, we want change, but we don't want to change anything. You're never going to get change in your life if you don't change. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. You're trying to lose weight. You keep eating the same food. Not exercising. You're not going to lose weight. Or oh, it's going to be short-lived. You know, they talked, and I talked about this a few weeks ago, that we have been taught that we do something for 21 days, it creates a new habit. That's not true. I've done a lot of things for 21 days. And after the 22nd day or 23rd day, I went back to my own pattern because I didn't change here. I didn't reevaluate anything. I just got made it through those 21 days. And this is what happens. We start things 
in three week cycles. When I say in three three cycles, it's three weeks, it's three months, it's three years, and then we back to the same old thing. Same old thing. Why? Because you never changed here. You never set that time in your life where you had uh, enough time to sit with me, myself, and I, isolate yourself to reevaluate, reevaluate your life so that you can change your mindset, your perception, and strategize how you are going to achieve your goals, changes for long-term success. See, we don't want to put the work in. I mean, you know, and I, I'm not trying to take anybody else saying or anything, but at the end of the day, if you're trying to work on your PhD, I had to change some stuff. I've been working on research papers all day. Okay. <laughs> if you're trying to lose weight, I have to get up 3.30 in the morning, go exercise. Trying to have better health, I have to prepare my food. I had to do something different. Is it a sacrifice? It is. Wow, yes, Jesus, it's a sacrifice. But in order to change patterns, to change unwanted cycles, to trans go from transition to transformation, you have to do something different. And it's gonna cost you something. I'm sweating, y'all. It's gonna cost you something. It's gonna be difficult at times. You're gonna get frustrated at times. You're gonna wanna quit sometimes. But hey, this is part of the process. It's part of it. Anything worth having, y'all heard that say, is worth working for, fighting for. That goes with everything. Diet goals purpose relationships whatever it is <laughs> if it's worth you having it's worth you fighting for you have to process you have to go through something hey guys uh it, you have to even when you get there to keep it you still have to sacrifice and the problem with our society we still on the burger king you want to have it your way it don't work that way. You can have it your way, but you're not going to keep it your way. You you understand what I'm saying? You're not going to get what you want out of life trying to get it your way. It's a system that works. And if you don't work it, you are not going to achieve the change, the transformation, the goals, the purpose that you are setting out to. It's not going to work, guys. It's no shortcuts in life. You're going to have to give up something to get something. You cannot be healthy eating fried foods and processed foods. Not happening. Not happening. You can't have a successful relationship. Still sleeping with every him, her, them, and they because you lonely. Not happening. You're going to keep getting the same thing that you've been getting. Not going to happen. If you're trying to have a successful business, if you don't change some of your patterns, some of your mindsets, you're going to still be stuck in that same little mom and pop business, always wanting a Fortune 500 business. You're going to have to change some things, and it's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you something. I started off talking about um, the person sharing with me about pers presuming that the reason I stay busy is because um, I'm single and I'm trying to, you know, keep myself distracted. Mm -mm. I know what I'm looking for in a relationship. Yeah, and I po I know what I'm looking for, and I'm not good on words because. 
we talk a lot of we talk we most people got a good talk but they don't have a good walk so i'm big on behaviors because i know from um my studies in psychology behaviors can trick you yeah behaviors can they can they can they can be a delusion from what's really going on so you have to have a balance of behaviors what you're saying your actions your behaviors your thoughts your emotions so they need to be all cohesive all cohesive in showing a person who you really are or what you really think or what you really feel most people don't do that so for me and my purpose because my purpose is to help you educate empower empower and inspire you i can't do that if i don't know tara i can't do that if i'm not in balance with me myself and i I can't do that if I don't stay focused on and balanced in my goals and the things that I need and I'm desiring for my purpose in life. I can't do that for you. I can't teach you that if I'm not doing that. I can share some information with you that, that I don't know that works, which a lot of people do. They steal from other people and they get on Facebook and they get on there and they ain't living nothing. And that's why after a while, we see them back in social media and all that stuff that they talk, we find out they're not walking.